Starlight is supposed to come over soon. There's a little something we wanted to give you before we leave. You know what? I think you're right, Twilight. I should take my comics to Canterlot. We can't leave the Power Ponies behind. I don't think the Power Ponies care, Spike. Just like all of our friends. All right, Twilight. Are you ready? We all wanted to see you off, but there's still a lot to do. Aren't you coming on the train? I gotta go with Big Mac so we can go over our packing list, or we won't know who gets what deliveries. And I'm gonna meet the Wonderbolt so we can go over the routine one last time. I'm going with Gummy. He said he knows when the fireworks display should start, but does any pony really believe that? And I still need to pick up food for the swans and doves who flew ahead to Canterlot. If I don't get them fed, they'll be too pooped to perform. Well, I'll be living in Canterlot alone. Might as well take the train alone, too. Bye, I guess. Oh, you won't be traveling alone, darling. I'll have just enough time on the train to weave the stuff by the sash for your gown. But you should leave now. There's no time to dawdle if you want the coronation to be perfect. That's the problem. You're also worried about making my coronation perfect, but I'm leaving Ponyville and none of you even care. <gasps> exactly. You moved away, your friends didn't care, and that was that. Actually, not exactly. Of course we care that you're moving, Twilight. I can't believe you think we don't. What could possibly make you think that? I tried to talk to you all about how I was feeling, but you seemed more worried about what you had to do for the coronation. It's true. I was there. I suppose it gave us something else to focus on. I knew you were worried about everything changing. I guess I thought if I made it seem like everything was okay, it would be. I was just trying to make you feel better. That way I wouldn't feel so terrible. Before I moved to Ponyville, I didn't really know what friendship was. You've all taught me so much. I can't believe it all might be ending. But when I imagine the future, all I can think about is that we won't be together. I'm literally moving away from you and it's terrifying. I'm scared too. Me too. Rattled to the car. Yep. I wouldn't say scared. But just because I won't say it doesn't mean I don't feel it. I'm going to miss you so much. <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about how much things are going to change. What, what if we don't see each other? What if we don't talk as much? What if we don't stay friends? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's weird, but knowing you're all as upset as I am actually makes me less worried. That's nice, but you should be more worried about missing the train to Canterlot! Sorry I'm so late. I actually thought I'd missed you. There's no time!